almost like you and Are you looking for a place where to fix your keys if lost or damage? Or are you taking on how to duplicate your home, office, or car keys? Don't worry, because your worries are all over. Auto Key Liberia is the best solution to all of your problems. At Auto Key Liberia, we are specializing in all keys programs and professional in other keys and removes of all texts. We are located at City on Time Bourgeois Online. Find us at Clever Mission Junction EOW Community. For more information, you can call the following cell numbers. 0777-337-808 or 0886-530512. Do business with Auto Key Liberia and thank me later. Are you looking for a property to buy or rent? 
Are you a property owner and looking for a quick and suitable way to sell your properties? Are you looking for a house, an apartment, or land to buy in Liberia, West Africa? Look no further, because Superior Real Estate has all the solutions to your problems. They have beautiful acres of land and comfortable homes for you to buy now. Register and incorporate it. Superior Real Estate is bringing honest real estate transactions and a peace of mind to all their clients. Located in Pizio, Superior Real Estate can be reached on 0880-544-111 or WhatsApp them on plus 231-775-87. Forces one zero. You will not be disappointed. Superior real estate. Real estate you can trust. We all know the headache we go through sending money to our loved ones, friends, and family in Liberia. High fees, long lines in banks, the usual complaint of the system being down, such a waste of time and energy. That is why I was very happy when I learned that SendWave is now in Liberia. So now I can send money anytime from anywhere directly from my smartphone to the MTM Loan Star Cell mobile money account of a loved one, friend or family within seconds for just a tiny fee. So download SendWave now to your phone from your Apple Store or Google Play Store, add your details and don't worry, they are very safe and secure and start sending money today. Don't forget to insert the promo code COSTA to get free $5 credit added to your first transfer. Same way, it's secure, super fast, and by far the most affordable way to send money to Liberia. I'm Henry P. Costa and a very happy customer. Thank you. All right, folks. All right. <clears throat> Good morning, and welcome to the program. You're listening to the Costa Show. Today is um, Monday, uh, February the 8th, 2021. The time in Monrovia is 7.30 a.m., and the time in Bay, Delaware, is uh, 2.30 a.m. And um, very glad to be here after a couple of days. Uh, I I was uh, I was off for three good days, I believe. Man, I just picked up this shirt. I, th I thought it was it looks it looks it looks a little not so pressed, but it's okay. Good morning, Boga. Good morning, Costa, and good morning to our many listeners across uh, Liberia and the world large. It's good to be here, bright and early. Good, um, uh, very very good. Um, we're very glad to be here as well. So uh, I I uh, was off for a while and uh, for a few days and uh, um, you know and I didn't even do a podcast which is something I would normally do once I'm not doing the show uh, with Boakai or on the show at all you know I would take a day or so and just do a podcast but there are just times you um, there's times you just you. You're not in the mood. You're dealing with, you know, uh, your own issues. We all have our battles to fight, and uh, and 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 sometimes you you you're dealing with some issues, you know, that you can't come to the public and say, and 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 so, uh, in the face of that, because we've been off the show for a while, and I know a lot of you missed us, and I miss you back. <laughs> I missed you back, so uh, you know it gave, uh, created room for some of our detractors to create all kinds of stupid stories. Yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even gonna waste my time to go into that. And but um, um, while well, I'm right here um, in my same studio, last night I had some friends and family over. At the house, uh, made my usual uh, fried rice. <laughs> we had some fufu and soup as well, and uh, we had a lovely time watching uh, Super Bowl. 
uh, watch, watching the Super Bowl. And um, yeah. Okay. So we're, yeah, we're back. Um, uh, now, last week, uh, we talked about Noah Budeke. And we said that we had been informed that Noah Budeke would leave uh, by the 28th, by the end of this month. And the very next day, or the very same day, after we talked about Noah Budeke, um, the, the executive mansion posted that Noah Budeke would be leaving the LSCC on the 26th. So just two days shot of the date we said he would be leaving. Now, Interestingly, no 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 is um is staying on as we said until that time because he's doing um a politically motivated uh investigation into a certain opposition figure. I would think that investigation is politically motivated, but I'm not gonna defend that person if that report comes out or defend anybody for that matter or anything like that you know I, I've seen uh, a lot of questions a lot, a lot of posts and I'm going to have to address this and a lot of people have been asking me yesterday I saw the latest post I saw in this regard and for the well, which is something I don't normally do I decided to engage with um, the gentleman who made the post is a good friend. He's a decent man. Brother Abraham Dodet, one of those people who reaches out whenever there's an issue he's concerned about. And I engaged with Brother Dodet and Brother uh, Jackson, Brother um, El Paula Jackson. That's his Facebook name. And Brother Dodet wanted to know, he did a post in which he publicly demanded to know my position on uh, Mr. Musa ability becoming chair of the Liberty Party. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people have been asking, where does Costa stand on this issue? Uh, I just want to say this. I've been thinking about that because since uh, that day, we haven't spoken here on the Costa share about that issue. Yeah, but I will tell you this, and I will say this to Brother Dolder and to everybody publicly. But thousands will hear me. After a considerable, considerable consideration for all of the concerns that people express, whenever I make public criticisms or make known my position on all matters CPP related, you know very, very well how a lot of people find it very, very discomforting. A lot of people in the CPP would cry, Oh, Costa, please leave CP, CP, CPP issues. Oh, we don't, we don't, we don't, we are afraid when you talk about CPP, it might, it might break CPP up or it might cause a problem in the CPP. Sometimes they give me too much credit than I actually deserve. I don't think I can break the CPP up or I could break the CPP up even if I wanted to just by criticizing them. So I decided I will keep my mouth shut about all things CPP related as far as disagreements, or criticisms are concerned. To promote C CPP, you know that's what we do yet. Mm. But I said, I'm gonna keep quiet. So Liberty Party goes to their convention and they make Musa Bility their chairman. It is none of my business. My personal views on the matter, I will not express yet. I will not say it. I have told you all. Some of you have the luxury to speak freely. You can say whatever you want to say. People will not act like it is the end of the word that's coming. Mm -hmm. But the moment Henry Costa says publicly what he thinks, oh, they used to say, I don't like Mr. Cummings. Costa hates Cummings. 
Costa is trying to destroy the CPP. Costa wants the ANC to leave the CPP. It's been months now. I have kept quiet about the CPP. There are things that happen there that I, I'm not particularly pleased about, but you will not hear me say it on here because I do not want to be accused of trying to undermine and destroy the CPP. I will not do that. I have my view on the Musa Belize issue, but it is my view. And that view, because it holds such weight, when I express it, I will not express it. But here's what I will not do. If they do something that I don't like in the CPP, I, Henry Pedro Costa, shall not defend them. Hello? If I will not condemn you, I will also now defend you. you. I am not yet to defend individuals. I am yet to defend causes and the interest of the Liberian people. That is why we are here. So, I'm not here to say, oh, leave Musa Belete alone. He's there. He's an Indian. I will not do that. Also, I will not tell you what my personal view is on the matter. Whether good or bad, I will not share. Because they will run with it. Every Joe Blow will speak. Mary, Magdalene, John Brown, everybody will talk. But the moment Henry Costa opens his mouth, and say something. You remember that day? Ellen went to the United Party headquarters. Yeah. And they all were fumbling over her. And I criticized her for the comments she made there. Which were derogatory toward the United Party. And I said we shouldn't do business with her. You remember what happened? Mm -hmm. It created a storm. Oh! Costa wants to destroy UP. Costa wants to destroy the CPP. So, you will not hear me say any of those things. If I want to deal with Ellen, I will deal with Ellen as former president of Liberia. I will not put my mouth in their business. I have realized that being a member of a political party, having formed and forged and maintaining political alliances with politicians, it has weakened my hands. Or my voice to a large extent. Because now, whether you like it or not, I am politically compromised. It is the truth. Politically compromised. In a partisan sense. So, I cannot speak as freely as I used to. Because I'm a member of a political party. I'm a member of a political alliance. And so, this is the reality with which I must live. And the reality that which I must accept. So, please, do not attempt to elicit my response or reaction to issues CPP related. Especially when you think that I must speak to it. Because to do so, to attempt to elicit such a reaction from me, would be a fruitless effort. They say my voice carries too much weight. So when I talk, it can cause trouble. The only time my voice is supposed to be used is to promote the CPP. <laughs> Vote for them. Yeah. They are the best people. Yeah. But when you say they want you to do it bad, no, don't say that one. It is the hypocrisy. That is a real word. When you deal with politicians. I'm a politician myself. But I'm a different sort. I'm not a traditional type. So. Yo will talk, 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 talk. Yo will not hear me say anything about your thing publicly. I will not defend them. When I don't believe in what they do. And I will not condemn them. When I believe what they did is wrong. That's it. That's my position on the battle. So. Liberty Party, and their business. They can make anybody chairman. They can do whatever they want to do. It is none of my business. Thank you very much. Now, let's talk about the street lights that the 
they all have been talking about. It's all people have essentially been talking about, been talking about for the last week. CDC people say this is the best, the first time in 33 years we've had street lights. Damn. Which we all know is a lie. You've got street lights and you've got an LEC that is unreliable. And the street lights are connected to the LEC grid. Huh? Anytime LEC goes off, so do the street lights. Now what kind of light is that? Why the hell didn't they just do solar street lights? Mm. LEC or no LEC, the lights would remain on. Why didn't they just do that? That's what they should have done. But they didn't do that. And so they make all this fuss about it. I mean, you know, I did a post a few days ago on this issue. You know you are in a mess when you're in a country where you cannot even find your own local currency, the Liberian dollar, in bank or in circulation. You can't really find it, right? Mm -hmm. But the government makes a lot of noise about planting a few street lights. Are you kidding me? You know you're in a serious trouble. When many, many families have been unable to send their children to school this year, yet the government brags about a few street lights. You know you're in trouble when the street light project has been funded with taxpayers' money through the national budget, but the president puts his face on it and, make it and makes it look like it is his personal gift to the Liberian people. The street light project has been financed by the national budget. But George Weah, being the narcissist and the egotistical idiot that he is, tries to make every freaking thing about himself. So, they're all over the place. Street lights. Oh, street lights in 33 years. We've never seen street lights. Do you know how many times street lights have been installed and they go out and they put new ones there and they reinstall? Because we never do anything the right way. So, for the seditions to be passing around today, celebrating street lights and making a lot of noise about it as if we've never seen street lights. In this day and age, as the Nigerians would say, where your mates are building brand new hydro dams. Eh? Mm -hmm. Nigeria just unveiled, uh, I think it's in Lagos State, a brand new railroad system and a brand new train. And you are unveiling street lights. And you're making all this fuss about street lights. Street lights powered by a weak hydro during this time of the year, the dry season, when the water level drops. Something is inherently wrong with us Liberians. All of you who celebrate, we live in the West. Those of us, especially, you know, those of us who live abroad and we see that street lights are a necessity. They're not a luxury. And you're celebrating street lights. A few street lights. Something is wrong. The country needs deliverance. You know you are in trouble when your president is such an idiot to put his picture on flyers to celebrate a few street lights. Huh? You are in trouble. Now let me tell you this. While they are celebrating the street lights, Mr. Weir, I was informed yesterday by sources from the General Services Agency, the GSA. Mr. Weir is about to relocate to his 9th Street mansion. Now, you all remember what, 9th, what the 9th Street place property looked like when Mr. Weir came to power. It was a dilapidated home, formerly the King's Lodge guest house, 
the roof was leaking. Mr. Weir had just people living there, just people who were living there. He had abandoned the place. Three months into the president said, we saw that property being raised to the ground with a bulldozer. Well, you all have watched closely as a mansion go up or as the mansion went up to, to replace that dilapidated home. Mr. Weir is about to move into that, his mansion. But guess what now? But guess what? That is not the news. Of course not. Why the hell would I come and break such a news to you? Would that be news? That would be absolute nonsense. Mr. Weir has instructed the General Services Agency to begin to negotiate with every adjoining property <laughs> that is within 50 feet range of his 9th Street mansion mm. to secure leases on every piece of property that is 50 feet close on his fence. If your property is within 50 feet of his 9th Street mansion, the government of Liberia is about to lease those properties from the owners. By force. By fire. By force. Because Bogubel wanted that. Guy. Because Mr. Weir is about to move into his 9th Street mansion, he does not want anybody living within 50 feet of him. So, GSA, as I speak, is engaged. Is engaged with property owners within 50 feet of George Weir's 9th Street mansion. And they are compelling them to enter into long-term leases with the government of Liberia on behalf of George Weir. Now, George Weir, you want to know why I live in 50 feet? Of course, it's a big fence. It's a big prop property. He, 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 he bought a few people out. He expanded the place. I posted pictures of that property and all. But now, if you are in within 50 feet of that property, you are being leased out. They are leasing them to leave, to vacate. And here's the interesting thing, though. Who's going to pay for the lease, all those leases? The government of Liberia. The government of Liberia is going to secure the leases from Mr. Weir. That is why Mr. Weir is not doing it in his, in his capacity as an, as, as, as an individual. He's having the GSA do that. We are going to pay. We paid to build the mansion for the man with our tax dollars. Now, we, the very same people, are paying to have him secure leases. To, to have people evicted. We are paying for the leases. The Liberian people. When a while the hell you think GSA is the one engaging the people. The man is about to move into his mansion. He can't afford to have somebody, a, a neighbor who is just 50 feet, within 50 feet range of him. He cannot afford that. He wants everybody out. Pack up and leave. I want to lay there alone. And we are paying for that. Jamaica Resort. It was built with our money. The road that they paid to make a resort with, the contract was worth $90,000. From the mean motor motor road to Jamaica Resort, they paid that road. 90000 United States dollars to pave that road to George Weir's house, to his resort. Our money, the contract was awarded to a a local construction company and they paved the road 90,000 US dollars our money to pave the road to a Jamaica resort the 9th street mansion built with our money again and now we're about to pay for the leases and you know and then Mr. We are wonders how am I losing these elections how is it that I was so humiliated in the 2020 
special Senate elections because of the way you behave, of your corrupt ways, your heartless, wicked ways. That's why you was you you were destroyed. Mr. Weir doesn't understand it. And he will not understand it until we kick him out of office in 2023. Now, so, all the people living near Joy Weir within 50 feet of 9th Street about to be thrown out by foes. I want to say something to you. Over the weekend, or last week, we heard that George Weir Junior, Champ Weir, as he's called, Champ Weir, who's older than Timothy Weir, is the oldest by his wife, Clark. Champ Weir was arrested in, in France, and It was, re it was reported, I have the link here, from Radio France International. Somebody sent it to me. I think it was at a Paris, uh, it was at a bar in Paris. Uh, not a bar, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, hold on. RFI, Radio France International. It's right here. Good. This is this is the story. Radio France International. That's the as a picture of George Weir and his son, Champ Weir. They arrested a young man. That's correct. In Paris. Let me try to get the uh translate the English version of this. You can take it and just translate it. So the story was reported on the um the fifth of February, Champ Weir was arrested. He's 33 years old and he has a reputation of being a drunk. Champ Weir is a drunk. George Weir's son, Champ Weir. George Weir Jr. is a drunk. Maybe he took right after his father. Now, when they arrested him, he waved his diplomatic passport to the police. So who says when you do something wrong and you are being arrested and you have a diplomatic passport, it is supposed to be immunity from arrest or immunity from the law? George Weir's son, Champ Weir, waves a diplomatic passport in France when he was arrested for disorderly conduct, excessive drinking and misbehaving and making loud noises and the and the, and the, the call the police. Somebody told me one of the reasons why Champ Weir, George Weir doesn't like Champ Weir spending too much time in, in Liberia is because Champ is a drunk. And he doesn't want people knowing that his son Champ is a drunk. He drinks and he misbehaves. So he doesn't want people to know that. Stories out there. Radio France International reported it. Radio France International reported the story. Find it. George Weir's son, Champ Weir. George Weir Jr. That's his junior boy. He's a drunk. Cannot help himself. He drinks and he misbehaves. Now, the heathens were chasing me for a lesser per se. You understand? Here you have Champ Weir brandishing a Liberian diplomatic passport to French law enforcement officers as if, if it is supposed to be an immunity uh, pass. You know, you do something and then you present it and say, hey, look at me. I'm the son of George Weir, the corrupt 
idiotic president of Liberia. And I carry a diplomatic passport so you cannot arrest me. Yeah. That is it. Now, folks, before we go to the phone lines, there's something I want to say. Lofa County Senator-elect Browning J. Samukai is in some serious trouble with the government folks. Now, I'm not here to defend Browning Samukai for whatever the issue is with his case. I'm not going to go into that. But I'm going to tell you what I know. Browning Samukai won the election in Lofa County fair and square. We all know that. Some of his um, fellow contenders in the election decided to go to, to, to file a complaint against him to try to stop him from getting certificated and installed as a senator. They went through the case. The case were dismissed for not having any merits. Again on Friday, I think an, I think a second case was brought forward. Now, Baga, you're from Lofa, you should know this. The second case was brought was brought forward. I believe a second case. And this case was exhausted and it went up to the Board of Commissioners. I'm told a third, I think they said three different issues were brought, were brought forward. It went before the Board of Commissioners of the NEC. And when it went before the Board of Commissioners, on Friday, the Board of Commissioners again dismissed the, uh, these uh, the final case against Brown and Samokai. What they did, after dismissing the, the, that particular case, the Board of Commissioners went ahead and reaffirmed Browning Samokai's win as Senator of Lofa County. That is what they did. They reaffirm his win. Now, this happened on Friday. Mm -hmm. I saw the pictures. I read the story. Brandon Samukai's win reaffirmed by the Board of Commissioners of the National Elections Commission. Brandon Samukai thought it was it was it was over. But what I'm told now is that the government has decided to go to the Supreme Court. They're trying by all means to ensure that Browning Samukai does not get installed as Senator of Lufa County. So that's why I said Browning is in trouble with the government folks. They're after him. They're gunning for his blood. They want to make sure he doesn't get installed. Now, you know, Brownie has that case with the Supreme Court. It's up there. Now, I don't know how the Supreme Court is going to rule. But the Supreme Court was the one that gave the green light for Brownie Samokai to contest. Because some of his fellow contenders for the Senate seat that he won, that he eventually won, went to the court and tried to stop Brownie Samukai from contesting. I believe. And the court ruled that Brownie Samukai could run because Brownie Samukai had not been his case, which is still pending before the Supreme Court, had not been disposed of. Therefore, Brani Samukai cannot be or should not be stopped from contesting. That is what the Supreme Court said. So Brani was allowed to run. Now, allowing Brani Samukai to run, Brani Samukai won the race. 
Now, they don't want Browning to take his seat. They brought all these issues. The very board of commissioners appointed by George Weir, he appointed every single person on that board. The board ruled that Browning Samokai did indeed win the election in Lofa County. As they had earlier determined based on the votes that were cast, counted, tallied, and pronounced. Now, George Weir wants to make sure that Brian Samoka does not get in. This is exactly what is going on. We can't let Browning Samokai get installed. We must do whatever we can to stop him. Now, as I said, I am not here to defend Browning Samokai in his case. But what I can tell you is that this particular effort by the government to stop him has got nothing to do with his case, which is at the Supreme Court. It is a political witch hunt. That is what it is. They know Brandon Samokai, Senator, a Senator Brandon Samokai, would not be a bad boy for George Weir. Yeah. They know that very well. A Senator Brandon Samokai would not dance to the tune of a George Weir. So they know that. So, therefore, they're saying to themselves, how can we stop him from becoming installed? Because he's already been elected. You can't go back to the Elections Commission with another complaint. You cannot. In fact, the time has passed for any further complaint to be filed. All the complaints that were brought against Browning have been adjudicated. There were no merits in those complaints and they were disposed of. The Board of Commissioners has just ruled that Browning Samokai did indeed win the election in Lofa County. So what the hell is the issue here? Because they know that a Browning Samokai would be loyal to the opposition cause and not to George Weir's interest. Women Capris. So they must stop it. Now, I've seen a lot of opposition people criticize Browning Samokai or have an issue with Browning Samokai and all of that. It is your right. I respect it. But here is what I want you to know. The CDC, number one, has no moral rectitude to even be chasing somebody for corruption. That's number one. Number one. George Weir is the biggest thief there is. To be chasing anybody for stealing money is absolute madness. That's one. Count two. The issue with Brandon Samoka and this is election thing, eh? It's got nothing to do with what Brandon did or didn't do. It's got everything to do with trying to stop Brandon Samoka from getting installed as senator of Lofa. I want you to draw the line. Do not get fooled or do not be fooled into believing that it is a genuine, legitimate effort. The very, 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 very body installed by George Weir reaffirmed Browning's win in Lofa. They've got no case. But they're trying to ensure that Browning Samukai never becomes senator. That is the strategy. Now, this morning, expect, or this week, perhaps today or tomorrow, when I'm hearing, this week, expect something from the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is expected to hand down a ruling or a decision regarding Brian Samokan. I don't know specifically what that will be, but I'm told we are is frantically working to influence a Supreme Court decision against Brian Samokai. I am told we are is working very hard to ensure that a Supreme Court decision is taken against Brian Samokai.
all in their overarching effort or objective to meet the overarching objective of ensuring that Browning never gets installed as Senate Senator of Lofa. But okay, let's go to the phone lines and take some calls there. So there you have it. Watch out. That is their strategy. Ronnie Samuel guy is in trouble. They're after him. Yeah. I don't know what the folks from the United Party will be doing to defend their candidate because he's representing the United Party at the national legislature. So uh, we hope they themselves can stand up uh, and do something. So Good morning. If you just joining us, welcome. The phone lines are open now on 0770 Let's take our first caller. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Your name you calling from? Yeah. What I'm, my name is Wa Kodo and I'm from Jebasta. I'm going to say good morning to Herald Pedro Costa. Wa Kodo Welcome. Long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you see, Pedro, what, what, what is really destroying us in this country is this mediocratic tennis. Whenever small things like the putting on field street light, we, 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 we become so satisfied to the extent that we'll be party around celebrating. What should we be celebrating for, 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 for just the field street light that have been put on? When, when, when our mothers, our, our, our parents cannot afford to send their children to school. When the economic situation is very, very difficult in the country, then we are, we are, we are passing around celebrating. You know, I, 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 I feel very, very bad and I feel discouraged about the, 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 the Lagrange people. Mm. Having said that, because there, there is this issue on all the social media, they have been making rounds about your, your, your deportation, how, how you, your, your, your government has expired. So I just want you to, to just please elaborate on that. Thank you so much. And there has been a protest this morning, a roadblock on the Chalastan Road. No car is uh, plying that route this morning because of uh, electricity. The guys have set up roadblock since 3 a.m. Uh, this morning. So um, let's take Noah Zawa Gibson. Good morning, Noah. Good morning. Good morning, Wakai. Good morning to my hero. My ever potent hero and our leader of the great mighty CP that will never ever die. Good morning, thank you. Morning to you, Noah. No, morning, morning. Yeah, good morning, my leader. I'm energized this morning whenever I hear you. Look, uh, you know, let me first of all start with the street lights. You know, the street lights, we don't just want to be standing up or Talking one to all and over by that here like is a is a cliche. The early led government in six months installed the first street lights in the Sinkhaw area in the presence of three former African heads of state who were head of state by then President John A. Kofu of Ghana, the late President Arahaji African Kaba of Seven and former President Lauren Babu of Africa. On any first 20th celebration, we saw the first few lights being like that in the Sea Park area. Uh, even though people they call it, it, they were not shining well at the time, but at least they were light. And when you break you are putting street lights on. Now, where the power that puts the street light on, who bought it? So, in that comment, we'll be breaking about even the street lights that any put on at a time. Like, sometimes we are posted about because. As a country, we are too old to put up the kind of thing. There are achievements in them to be voting up. So that thing here is a noise. Now, coming to Georgia, talking here, West Texas, Costa, La Parra, La Trump, what do you expect? The men here, Georgia, are junior. When you hear Georgia, and West Texas men will come to your mind. So the thing that they made was a West Texas, but that kind of West Texas behavior because it tried to uh, follow the shoe of the power. As I conclude, this one is not an issue. You know, some of all we didn't really want to talk into it before they say, oh, no, no, that was the thing the standing for it. That's the thing that all the defense wrong. But it is the thing today. This thing is politically much greater. When some kind, or uh, the morning that you say you were accused of, the government brought two witnesses to court to testify in favor of the government against Bernie. George, the chief of staff, the deputy chief of staff, appointed by the president, and the foreign 
you say, Minister, the former chief of staff, then they said they back against the government on behalf of Brandy. So, how can now Brandy be guilty with this one issue where your own witnesses be brought that they back against Brandy? I mean, in favor of Brandy. So, it was that they were motivated. But some of them want to talk here because people will see that they never started there. So, we want to back it up or we credit all other people. That might be some of us starting on it. But I would have to have to speak on it because the way you present it in the morning, and I think you couldn't do it more than the way you did it. So thank you so much, you all have a that day, and I wish you well. Thank you, Noah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Noah. Let's take more calls that now. Here is what I'm told. On Friday, I just got this information just now. Why Brother Noah Zawo Gibson was speaking. On Friday, right after the Elections Commission, After they made their decision to reaffirm Browning's victory in Lofa, they got the call. I say, let me tell you exactly when they got the call. After the, the, the decision was pronounced at the Elections Commission, they got a call. Three hours after Browning Samokai left the National Elections Commission premises. Three hours! After he left the premises of the National Elections Commission, they got a call from the Supreme Court that the ruling in Brani Samokai's case will be today at 2 p.m. Today. Boagai? Yeah. I mean, do you find that as a coincidence? Just Three hours after the neck rules that Brandon Samokai won the election, bloop, he gets a call from the Supreme Court through his lawyers that the Supreme Court has called the, the case for ruling today at 2 p.m. And like I, like I said, we're not here to defend people. I'm not here to defend Brandon Samokai or anybody for that matter. But these are the facts and circumstances of the case. It is true what Noah said. The state, which is the prosecuting entity here, summoned witnesses. Current defense minister, Dana Ziyanka, who was then chief of staff, current deputy chief of staff, Geraldine George, and current Chief of Staff, Prince C. Johnson, was deputy chief of staff at the time. They were summoned to testify. And they said that the funds were used with the blessing and the authorization of Ellen Johnson Sirleaf and that they knew all about it. They said that in court. When they testified that time that Brownie did not use the money for personal reasons, they testified to that. These are sitting government officials. I thought the state had lost the case. That's what I thought, Barker. Because these were key witnesses. Sure. The state brought these key witnesses to ask them. Did Brownie steal the money? Did he convert the money to his personal use? Current Chief of Staff Prince C. Johnson said no. No. Current Deputy Chief of Staff Geraldine Johnson said no. Brownie did not convert the money to his personal use. Yeah. The current Minister of Defense, then Chief of Staff Daniel Zanka said no. Brownie did not steal the money. And all three of them, their testimonies were very consistent and they corroborated each other or one another because there were three. But what I, these, these were the witnesses the government brought, these three people, yeah. to testify that Brown and Samokai stole the AFL people money. 
and used it for himself. And then here's the interesting, the interesting thing about the case here. Brandy, like I said, we're not here to defend Brandy. I'm not here to defend anybody. I'm not going to do that. When Ellen was leaving office and Joe Weah was coming in, but can you remember what happened? About the same money? Mm -hmm. Ellen Johnson actually issued a statement that the incoming government were going to pay the AFL soldiers their money back. Sure. And then what did John Weah say at the time he was president-elect? He said, as president, when I'm inaugurated president, I will refund this account, this welfare account. Or I think that's where they should make deductions from the army, from their sal from their salaries, and put it. So this is the situation. Ellen said it that the new government were going to pay, and John Weah took responsibility. So how is it that after Weah took responsibility to pay this money back, now Mr. Weah is prosecuting Brian Samokai for this particular money? That's it. Politics. Let's go to the phone lines and take them call. So yeah, today at 3 p.m., Brandon Samoga at 2 p.m., I'm sorry, goes to the Supreme Court for his hearing, for his ruling. And I'm told they have made a determination to nail Brandon Samoga. Let's take some calls there. Hmm. Pray for Brandon. He in a mess. Total mess. Total mess. Uh, by George Weir in his game. 077 uh, 102 and WhatsApp number is plus 231-888-624171. That's the WhatsApp number you can call and you will be live on the show this morning. So um, keep your calls coming in. 077-102-102-086-010383. So um, there is none yet. We stay uh, waiting. As soon you put your call through, we'll take them. So the issue of uh, Costa, the, the, the current run in Liberia has been like your time, my time. Yeah, they are, they are rationing current because they, they are rationing the power because they don't have enough. Sure. So they're rationing. Uh, today, at uh, for 12 hours, people in old, old road, certain parts of old road will have electricity and then they will switch them off after 12 hours and then people in Pinesville, certain areas will have it. They, they're, they're rationing power because they don't have enough power. Well, okay. Yeah? Let, let's take somebody from this line here quickly. Uh, Momo, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Mr. Paula, and good morning to my father in New York. Uh, good morning, Good morning, Thank you. Thank you, 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 you, Thank you, Chairperson, I'm having a good this morning. I just don't know what's the problem. I don't know where you're calling from. But let's take this other person. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, Timothy Smith calling from Morovia. Welcome, Timothy. Yeah, uh, I just want to plan call this morning for the Leon Live and Costa. I say thank you so much. And um, with, with the situation we're in right now, I see people trying to present to feel the, 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 the country in serious darkness and talk about accountability where Financial year, the first, you know, there, there are many issues that, that, that are affecting our country. And I've seen the same they talk about financial. Financial year, you almost say that when you have a problem in the court, you go to the court and go through your problem. 
But there are issues that are affecting us that we want the Senate to look at the three missing water in the country. And when it comes to the of putting new money, and we need a report for the sixteen billion dollars. The four billion of that president we have brought to the country, that not give us no account. There are so many issues you know, of the villages. Look at the growth they want in our country. The hardship is not they the increase. Then you talk about putting new money when we get to their four billion and there is no account of four billion. What about the four the three missing boards within our country? We talk about the data we saw the the, the, the four other top. There is no security for us today. And we in that period that you offer go to the pool that said the British president, we are three letters of this approach to me. Because every day you tell you put uh where they want to. And president, but then you put the natural on and we say you're talking about three left. All right. Thank you so much. Let me take another person from this line. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, you are where calling from?
Kwanzaa we now take uh, this person. Good morning. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, Hello. Am I okay now? Now you are good. Uh, good. Go ahead, my brother. Thank you. My mother could have been Okay, let me tell you this. I only laughed when I went up. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That was so kind. Because let me tell you to some of you, I'm also going to who claim to be a single piece of paper. They always call all the technology in our own. I don't think we're in the CPP. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about it. It is clear now, I make it clear now. He will not pour his box into any CPP or something. So you not know, going to lie. I'm not going to lie. But you know, but you know, let me say this. Any attack on our guy, Jason, you are going to lie. CPP is our definite, is our scope, is our empty. Everybody will come and attack me because we feel to so, so depend on the state and the CPP. We will go and give our own boy, Jason, you are just saying our name. We will go and give you. Yeah, that's what you are. 
with the leadership is that let it just leap over there when you have fallen yesterday. Why would you have had fallen yesterday and we don't see a threat when you have to be shutting your face on the sea? Why is it that they are not old? Why? Why? You put up script like a copper light, everything has grown up. So it means that everybody should stand up material to us using millions of dollars. This is also a death sentence to the people of Liberia. In as much as we believe that no way is doing wrong, or else there's so much there, that thing to us. If I have bought a, 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 a tangible uh, head of food here, or life that she played that on the phone on the street, well, we have eaten, you know, we are, we are 13, 13 years. But we are saying 13, 13 years, they are not in court because they are not kind of a thing. Why, why everyone has to treat us like that? But the media, and that is the thing that we are doing to. So, like, everyone planted this thing, so we are, so we have to do the thing. We are going to use some kind of material also, then the next moment is going to come and say, 15, 15 years, they are not in court, let us see this. So why would we be treating our country like to say we are not leaders for our country? They are more even they, they, they are enemies for the state more than any other country. That means that we are. And so there's a point in. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chairman, for calling in. Uh uh, we still taking calls on the floor in numbers. You can just place me your call. You will be live with us uh, this morning. Let's take this other person. Good morning. Good morning, Wakai. And good morning to Israel and Pedro Costa. This is Mohammed F. Collins. And I call for John Tindra. Welcome, Chairman. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Like some of my police were saying, the fact of the matter is, uh, the electricity that we have proved to us that uh, many of them are very, very educated. You can't go and set a great street light. Then you go home, you're sitting in darkness. I think they like to have to zero homes, let like people be on a light fight. Then you can go to light, and go to four, three lights. There are these few consecrated Indians celebrating on the street. I don't know what type of celebration of, like a matter of falling for heaven. The mother of three lights. When you go home, no light. I will not, I will not treat a, a brand new Samuka issue. Because the really party, people didn't treat the blood people fairly. Let me, let me fair here. If you see Jarrah of calling, you see Thank you, 
you so much, uh, Cos. Mm -hmm. Let's. I'm just listening. Keep taking calls. <laughs> All right. So the phone, the phone lines are still open. Keep your calls coming in uh, uh, on the show. Yeah, everybody expressing themselves here this morning, and it's all about the politics in our country. So. Um, keep your calls coming in 077 102 102 86 uh, 0 0 3 3 uh, 0 5 102 102 and the WhatsApp number is plus 231 Good morning. Yeah, brother. Uh, thank you. I'm constrained the proper. No, uh, uh, look, I forgot to say this, and this has to do with the attack on the COP. You know, it was on my mind, but I never wanted to give up more. I mean, I was never to give me more time to see it, so I forgot it was very red to come up. So, my heart, let me say this this morning as a candidate. Costa, as an individual, has made great impact in the life of some of us. And I'm saying this to be everybody hearing well and who was here. My loyalty to COP is. To Costa. It's not an institution. It may sound very selfish. That's my view. I don't care what ever say ever hit. I just believe in my mind I'm loyal to Costa because of COP. I mean, I mean to COP because of Costa. So, it can be my own people from whatever political institution, whatever. Let us refrain and wait from attacking Costa. I'm saying this because we know we are in the corridor. Some of us, maybe I would say, we can't go, 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 we will not say that man will do great, will do great at you. I know personally what I am benefiting up to now and what I am benefiting. So if you have some of us, we start up that in the back. Then in fact, what comments are coming to some of us, I don't call me, but I know what some of us, I know some of us, 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 but when this is my, I will call me. And when I start to call me, we will draw line. So if you have to say, somebody will just come and put their line on the line, then you are just taking the big monkey one person draw, he will he will he will be used to press the road at the end you're gonna throw it in the mud and still the road on that side, down there, and no man say, ah we will not work with you. Nobody put that nonsense on you. Next time, your people they are dying in America, they are both here or in 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 Latin Latino here in America. They dare not put their mark on COP or even a sack of animal. When it happens, that one will just forget it. Right. Okay. Let me say something to that brother. You know, uh, Brother Noah Zawu Gibson and Momo and uh, Mohammed Conan, the youth chair, and to every one of you, uh, we've come a long way. You know, I nothing bothers me anymore that somebody says about me. If a supporter of Trump, of John Brown attacks me or says something about me, in most cases, not which is not even true, I will not fight John Brown because he is a supporter said something about me. I will not respond. I will not dignify it. And I don't even want you, my good friends and my brothers, in the struggle. You all know how much respect I have for each and every one of you, I believe in respecting people. They may call me leader, they may call me chairman, they may look up to me, but I respect them. I respect Noah Zahu Gibson, I, 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 I respect Momo Johnson, I respect all of you the same way. That's how I operate. Even at my office, what I will tell you, we can joke, we may fun. If I get mad about something, I will blast, but they know it ain't mean nothing. I just want to see something done. But that's how we operate. We respect one another. So, let them say whatever they want to say. Don't stress yourself. Let's just stay focused. 
because we don't want to be seen like we're fighting among ourselves. They want to criticize me. They want to lie on me. They want to attack me or attack the COP. Just forget it. Don't waste your time. People say I'm being deported. I'm running away from the law. And now what the citizens are saying? They're all over the place, talking about it everywhere. Hear me sit now here the morning in my studio. Yes, last night I was there with friends and family people over. We had a nice time. My mom Clara came. My sister Anna had came. You know, my my brother Nana Ransford, Cher Walker, and my brother Aaron, Aaron Nella. And we had a wonderful time. You understand? So let them say whatever they want to say. But don't allow yourself to get drawn into stupid talk with them. The CPP here, we must hold it together. If it means that some of us will have to put our feelings on our feet, as we can say in Liberia, we will put our feelings on our feet to ensure that we stay together. When somebody calls my mom Sarah Burton, sometimes I get laugh. Somebody can say whatever they want to say. He blamed me a lot. He did. He did. But one day they will not produce any. It doesn't bother me. Don't hear you hear defending Costa. Don't hear you hear defending COP. We are such a powerful organization. So don't bother yourself. I don't need a defense. You know, remember when in the Bible when Jesus Christ was betrayed by Judas and Peter pulled his dagger and slashed off the ear of that Roman soldier. What did Jesus do? Jesus took that man's ear and planted it back. And Jesus said to Peter, I, I don't need you to defend me. If I needed an army, I would have an army of angels to defend me. So, I don't need you to defend me. I don't need you to do that. Don't hear you here with them. Let's just keep fighting. I'm too, uh, I've, I've come a long way. These things do not move me at all. I stand on a very solid ground. I am very confident in myself. Nothing moves me. Especially not people talking, yo, 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 yo. You know what they talk about me? They talk all kinds of things. If I were moved by all those things, I would not have peace in my life. I would not. So to you, my friends, my brothers and my sisters, my comrades in the struggle for a better Liberia, I say to you, do not be perturbed. Do not get uh, worked up over the nonsense our detractors are saying. Some of them are members of the very opposition community. They are intimidated by us. They are intimidated by the very position that we occupy. We are the most powerful voice in the country. The government is afraid of us more than they are afraid of anybody else's voice. That is a fact. And we say that with utmost humility. God, should we be fighting? We must not fight. Let's hold together. And we will win together. To make life be real good for all of us. Let's go back to the phone line to take call. So don't, don't, don't fight for me. I don't need to be fought for. Fight for the ideas. And the values that we fight for. Justice. Economic and social justice. Political justice. Human rights. Economic empowerment. The liberation. The economic and social liberation of the, of the Liberian people. These are the things we'll fight for. My brothers and sisters, don't fight for me. Fight for those things. Let's take some more calls. Okay, uh, 0770 102 102 86 010 The WhatsApp number is plus 231 triple 8624171. So, Elizabeth Costa, you can now call and make your point too on the following lines and you will be live with us here this morning so um the phone lines are open 
keep your calls coming in this morning and you'll be live. Now take Pangomo Kamara. Pangomo, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Good morning, Patrick Kamara. Good morning, Labong people. Okay. Uh, they've been asking, but I always tell you people. So, if the government, yeah, they always take that. Yeah, so if the government always has a piece of justice. Okay? I told you, Joe Weah is a man that will not finish you on anything. He will make sure you can imagine. Nobody that takes justice can you imagine he gave him a certificate claim of in three hours time. The court called him a lawyer, but it's some kind of lawyer that the case will be on Monday or Tuesday. And then what? That president interferes. Did you see it? See if it now? Political party is a way on this party. I told you people, see if they keep the distorted Liberia. Your way of government keeps the distorted Liberia. They tell people, I always tell you people, we have to follow this way. So, if now, government did a thing, taking people back to Ghana. President Joe did a big thing. And the way of Ghana through, they had a big majority. But I don't believe nobody. You tell you somebody to get money, some guy. The women said, already oh, say the man may be on your own. He never said the one on your own. He did it. The people were living in the state. And he just said, I'm not to be a bulldog. And he just a quick one not to be a bulldog. When they asked you to that, go. But just the infant there and give them 10 to 20,000 each of them to get to the stimulus that now they're clearing a lot of. I know some guys, it's a sweet pattern. It's a full pattern. I know some guys will take this big day and give people keep to the bureau to just matter the bureau. Can you imagine people talking to them? You don't think about that? I want to get another one. Why did I tell you to go? Some people are not honoring me. It's a weird. They get the medal. They tell the family of one after that. Why did I honor them? They said after that, you won't see that. You want to clear some kind of stuff. See this in that way. They don't need to matter this. Because some can wait, wait on it, wait on it, but you need to, and the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court, God, according to God, we are will. We will give you them profit for you. The stupid thing that we got, it's yeah. great for the most people that we Thank you, have. thank you so much, Pangomo. Now we take uh, somebody from this WhatsApp number. Good morning, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. All right, the person not ready yet. If you call, uh, you have to pay attention to the phone. Don't listen to the receiver. There's a little delay. So pay attention to me on the phone, then listening to the receiver, please. So the phone lines are still open. Now take this person from this line. Good morning. Yeah, what up? Yeah. Yeah, let me say this quick and construe. You know, let me not let me not understand that the purpose the fellow they are defending George we are that is not even what defending, right? Yeah, but we are but we are not like them. You should not defend me. But we are defending him as the our our leader. You do what Savior, so much Savior, but Momo It is not necessary. So the role the character of okay. our leader is No, you cannot you see that that's what you all don't understand. Thank you so much. Let me say something to you. There is character and there is reputation. No one can destroy your character. Your character is who you are. It's what makes you. It's the stuff you are made of. No one can destroy it. your character. We always make that mistake. Your reputation might get destroyed or tainted or tarnished. But your character is who you are. Now, your reputation is what people can create. Your reputation may be something that may be created by other people. They might conjure up or con uh, uh, construe a reputation uh, of you. But your character is who you are. And so, it does not bother me the things people say about me, the things they say about me. Does not. 
So I don't need you to defend me. I don't need you to defend me. You, you, I think you have better time or you have better things to do with your time and your energy. The good work that we all are doing is what we must continue to do. Stay focused and do it. Defending me is, is absolute uh, madness. <laughs> there was a time I used to like that, to see you all defending me. But today I say, don't waste your time. Because we've matured, we've learned enough. And we're not bothered by those things. Our emotional intelligence has solidified to the point where we can see people say nasty things about us and we, know, and we are not bothered by it at all. So don't waste your time. Focus on what is important. What is important is that we will remove this government democratically in 2023 and replace them, hopefully, God willing, with a decent government to serve the Liberian people. That is our objective. So let's stay on message. We were successful in the last round of Senate elections. We will be yet again successful in 2023. Let's hold the CPP together. Let's do that. Ignore the noise in the market. Let's take a few more calls. Three more calls and we'll call it a day. All right, let's take this person. Good morning. Mr. Anzomana. I agree with 
category 100%. But this one, supposedly, we cannot say because we have our way of saying whenever you say love, when you are here too. Many times. So to be talking lies, 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 as in our leader, and we not pastor in our view. It's not true because people will be calling us because they are talking about the way we are about it. That is true that we are weak. We not go to our heart. So we need to do the thing for any piece of the for different people. We can create that COP. We can create that after many after that gate that you will use on the show. Many after that open it. Open it gate that you will use. More open it gate that you will use. Because Whenever you go wrong, for people to laugh on you for us to say we're not that many people. That one. That one. If you say that we are left, they will be left. We're not accept that people to laugh on you. Laugh on our institution. Then for us to say that. Oh. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much, folks. Well, God bless you all. Um let's continue to hold together, to fight, to fight together for a better Liberia. That is what I will spend my energy on, defending the rights of the Liberian people, fighting for their interests, because all I want is to see a better Liberia and to see the people's lives improved. That's all I want. I don't have to become anything. You know, there are some of us who are in this thing for our ambitions. I'm a very, very ambitious man, and I do not hide my ambitions. I want to be president of Liberia one day. And I know God has ordained it. Oh, I know it. I know it. I am convinced 100% that I will be president of Liberia. And that I will do wonderful things by his grace. By his grace. But do I sit down and be grieving in my heart? Eh? That somebody will get it before me or somebody will be president before me? No, it does not bother me. Do I wish for other people to fail so that I get it? No, I don't. I just believe that in God's own time, his own appointed time, what he wants for me will happen. That's why I don't envy anybody. That's why I don't begrudge or hold any mileage toward anyone. I just speak freely and, and that's it. So, that's it folks. Don't worry yourself. Let them say what they want to say. God has always been there to help us triumph over our enemies. Every time the enemy lays a trap, what does God do? He helps us escape that trap. He raises us higher. Oh, he does that. And every time he does that, I just praise his holy name. So don't worry yourself. Let's just keep pushing on. Because better days ahead. It's better to have better days ahead than better days behind you. Our best days are yet to come. They haven't seen anything yet. God is working wonders. Oh, yes. Wonderful things the Lord will do. Yesterday, my man Clara Ray told me, you know, my child, don't say everything publicly. You know, but I say a lot of things publicly, but I'm learning to hold a lot of things to my chest. Yes. Because sometimes the devil doesn't want you to say it so they can run and try to sabotage it. You know? But God is working on a lot of wonderful things for us. And it will be wonderful. Now, you're looking to send money to Liberia? This is the way to do it. Send wave. That's all I use. That's all I know. It works very well. It's a great, great, great tool, great platform. Send money to Liberia. If it is your first time, download the app today. Insert the promo code COSTA, C-O-S-T-A, and get yourself free five bucks just for that promo code. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Have yourselves a wonderful, blessed day. We'll be back here tomorrow, same time, 7 30 a.m. If something very interesting comes up and I'm in a mood, well, I will do a podcast sometime today. God bless you all. Bye bye, Boga. Thank you. When you are at peace with yourself, nothing anybody says bothers you. <clears throat> peace. Peace with yourself. Nothing moves you.